In the last section, we covered the basics and positioned ourselves to make great product. In this section, we'll walk through the creation of an executive or strategic dashboard. In this video, we'll look at understanding the executive dashboard development process, some best practices, and we'll go over the dashboard we'll be making in this section. This will include creating text elements, calculating period over period changes, visualizing comparisons with bullet charts, and finally, arranging sheets on a dashboard. An executive dashboard is one utilized by the strategic leaders of an organization and is generally the most simple type of dashboard from a layout and content perspective. The goal is typically to convey a few key metrics with just enough detail to provide a story, but not enough to drown the viewer. Exploratory interactivity is not usually necessary, they don't have the time to do their own digging, but a limited amount of control can make it very engaging. Another point to consider is the frequency with which the dashboard will be viewed. The higher level executives will likely be more interested with longer term trends and periodic updates, leaving the execution and day-to-day -day management in their team's hands. This means that they'll probably not be viewing the dashboard very frequently, which in turn means we should make the interface as simple and self-explanatory as possible. We want our audience to get it without having to first read instructions or learn an interface. If they access the dashboard, say, monthly, they'll have forgotten the instructions from the last time and will have to relearn. This is not an effective use of their time and you'd likely be asked to rebuild it in a more easy to use format. Our task here is to make a quarterly sales dashboard for the executive team of Superstore, the sample office supply company database that comes with Tableau, which we'll be using throughout this video series. In the top left, we have the report quarter, which is controlled by this parameter slider, like what we built in the first section allowing the viewer to go back in time to view previous quarters. Below that, we have our text elements, which can communicate important numbers very quickly. We should always use these sparingly in order to avoid overwhelming the user with a sea of numbers, but if they are the key indicators that audience requires, it's always good to place them prominently on the dashboard. The numeric elements, dollar amount, and percent change are individual sheets on their own. The text following them is an actual dashboard text box, and this one actually references the report quarter parameter for context. Below the text elements is a quarterly sales trend chart to provide context to the current quarter's performance. Finally, on the right, we have a breakdown of performance by category. The black reference line provides a reference point for performance versus the prior quarter. The color of the bar is indicative of the percentage change. To recap, We've set ourselves up for success by keeping in mind the key elements of an executive or strategic dashboard. Number one, focus on the content. Don't flood the viewer with non-vital information. Number two, simplify the interface, if it has one at all. We need to make it foolproof without instructions to our user. Number three, use descriptive labeling. We want to essentially write a sentence with our key numbers to help the user quickly understand the information. Now that we have a scope of the project, in the next video, we'll be diving right in to create the text elements.